A feathered team of farm workers head out for their day's work. Rice farmers call them cheap labor. The ducks help keep the water in the paddies fresh. They also get rid of weeds and other pests that could damage the crop. Duck manure is also good organic fertilizer, so farmers no longer have to spend money on chemicals and harmful pesticides. When we were using chemicals, the profit margins were very low. Now, with rice ducks, margins are much bigger. Julia Manguera says her crop yield has also increased by 20 percent, and it's only her first year of integrated rice duck farming. But it still hasn't been easy to convince more farmers to let go of their dependence on chemicals. Integrated rice duck farming was first introduced in the Philippines in the early 1990s, but it failed then due to a lack of funding and farmer disinterest. Now it runs the risk of possibly failing again now, but for completely different reasons. The raras feed what's left of their rice ducks. They used to have scores more, but many have died because of extreme weather conditions. We used to be able to predict the weather. That's no longer the case. It can go from suddenly very, very hot to a torrential downpour, and the ducks just can't cope with that. They've still found a way to use the dead ducks, hanging them in the paddies to lure rice bugs away from the crop but it's still potential profit lost. The ducks were meant to be raised alongside the rice until they could either hatch eggs or be sold to market. Either way, these rice duck farmers are determined to stick it out, insisting the benefits still outweigh the disadvantages. They say they care for their cheap labor as they do for themselves, and they'll all find ways to adapt to the whims of the weather. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Bukidnon, Southern Philippines.